Some breaking news right now. This is Encino, northbound 101. There you see that Mercedes SUV moving at a high rate of speed right on the shoulder of the road trying to get through traffic. Apparently, Giovanna, this is a stolen vehicle. LAPD started chasing it while going through Van Nuys. And we understand uh, it started uh, on surface streets and quickly got onto the 405, the northbound 405. And now, as you mentioned, he is on the 101 freeway and moving very, very quickly. You see all that uh, traffic there. Traffic is much slower than his pace, which makes all of this a very dangerous situation right he seems to have uh, really uh, tacked up the speed but he does seem intent on basically staying within this area keep in mind again he's in the Encino area uh, and but we've been largely seeing him hanging out in the, the Van Nuys area and if you know that community you know that these communities are, are really close to each other uh, but you can see the high rate of speed pushing up about 60 to 65 60 almost 70 miles an hour and beyond that he has a wide open road right here this is Havenhurst Avenue uh, going through Encino, so he's opening it up. And as we all know, Mercedes can be a high-performance vehicle. This is an SUV, a large SUV at that, and he's really using it to his advantage. Yeah, this makes me nervous watching uh, how fast he's going on these streets. It is, what, it's 530. Lots of people are on the road uh, in their commute home, uh, and he's going really, really fast here. Uh, anything can happen every time he comes up to a uh, an intersection, so we have to keep this, uh, you know, keep a close eye on this, obviously. And uh, LAPD uh, from the Van Nuys uh, area, began following him. They believe, as you mentioned, that this is a stolen Mercedes. What we think, though, is there's only one person in the vehicle, at least from what we can see and what police could see. You never know, though, so they'll handle it appropriately. But one person seen in the driver's seat, nobody's seen in the passenger's seat right now. And again, this first came out as a stolen vehicle, and clearly this person does not want to yield to police. They followed it for a little while on surface streets before he decided to finally take off, and then the pursuit was on. Yeah, and he's still going very fast even in these narrow streets and a couple of times when you were talking it, he came close to uh, a couple of other cars uh, he's uh, you know as you mentioned determined to keep going and yeah. uh, I don't know if uh, air 7 can pull back and we can see where the uh, patrol cars are uh, how closely they are maybe they've decided to pull back I don't see them there I don't either uh, and he's going through a tight community here in Sino has a tendency of being tight being hilly uh, and he's clearly moving at a high rate of speed, which makes it very dangerous. This is a, a Mercedes 4 Series SUV, so it could really open up and it could maneuver uh, pretty well. Uh, there you see it. Uh, that there's uh, the, the model of the vehicle as you see him flying through. Uh, one person again in this vehicle reported as stolen, and it looks like he is back on Ventura Boulevard, uh, Giovanna. Uh, eastbound. Eastbound now. Yep. It seems as, as if he's uh, circling the uh, the neighborhood, as you mentioned. That, uh, that was a red light he just ran yeah, through as well. And yes, yes, indeed. Again, he's um, not he's not wanting to give up, and I feel like he's getting very close to. Uh, uh, he's had a lot of close calls already. And this is a very congested area. I often drive through here, especially at rush hour. It gets really tight. Um, and See he that? is, yeah. yeah, desperately trying to kind of maneuver his way through there. He's going to try to squeeze his way through on a left-hand turn. And let's see, now that he's turning, let's see if there's any LAPD anywhere near him. Keep in mind the helicopter. Oh, there is. There there's are. a unit. Uh, so they're going to, they are tracking him. He made a U-turn. He's now going uh, westbound. Okay. Westbound on Ventura. They're reacting quickly as well. Uh, and look at uh, him driving in wow. the middle lane. Wow. Really flying yeah. there. We can't see how fast he's going, but he is flying by. And people don't have time to react if they're going to be moving over. There he is in the wrong side of the, uh, the road for uh, just a brief moment there as he continues to fly through Ventura Boulevard. Yeah, and no details at this time where the stolen vehicle originated from. We, yeah. we do know, though, the pursuit began in uh, on surface streets in the Van Nuys area. Again, he circled back to Libet Avenue. You can see Ventura Boulevard, Libet Avenue has been popping up quite a bit. You can see on the upper left-hand side of your screen, uh, that's exactly uh, where they are right now. And mm, here he is going, going on the wrong traffic. side. Yep. And there's a tricky situation there. Luckily, that car was paying attention and was able to stop. David, he's not hesitating. No, he's he not. is bold, making some bold moves here. And now he's stuck behind this big truck. What is this? A prime Amazon Prime truck? Yeah. Okay. Can't so really get around that. W one of our our staff members, a car enthusiast. Oh, um, and this woman is talking. Is she talking to him? Some some That's kind of communication is going on right there. Uh, 
Why is she? Well, I don't know. Oh. There's. I don't know what's going on. Um, oh, she's saying. Is she saying shame on him? Maybe. <laughs> I think she I mean, was. Well, I guess we all could say that. Okay, so this is from Chris, who who uh, is is on our staff here. He he says this is a 2020 to 2022 Mercedes Benz GLE 450. Um, it's a nice looking car, and obviously it's an expensive car, but reported as stolen. Uh, and then he is uh, he's tracking his way behind this Amazon truck. And let's see if he maneuvers out of this situation. Doesn't seem to be too patient and willing to sit in traffic as he kind of goes further down. Uh, I think this is northbound Ventura Boulevard near Rubio Avenue in Encino. Yeah, and as he was stopped, I'm just wondering why authorities didn't, uh, the, the patrol cars didn't get closer, didn't take advantage of that moment that he was stopped and sort of trapped and couldn't move. Well, they're, they're, they're watching him closely, and, and sometimes they don't want to push the situation if they could get this thing to end uh, peacefully. I think that's uh, without injury. That That's their primary goal here. I don't know how close they are, but you know the helicopter is over him as well, so mm -hmm. he's not getting away. I thought that he might try to dash in while going through the, the Galleria, which you've often seen lately, is mm -hmm. dash into a, a covered parking garage, and that's a large one there, but he didn't do that. He stayed uh, on Sepulveda, turned onto Ventura Boulevard, and then raced into Encino at a very high rate of speed. You could see all the traffic there. Uh, Giovanna, there, there, this is a very congested area, and of course, Ventura Boulevard, we've all been on Ventura. Yes. It's a tough thing to maneuver, especially yeah. at this time of the uh, day. Uh, yes, but all times of the day sometimes, but uh, definitely now in the commute hour. Uh, and he was driving fairly slowly up until now. Now you see the clear, clear road, and he's picking it up again, picking up his speed. Thanks, Cheryl. Cheryl, also on her staff, tells us that the gas tank is 22.5 gallons. It's a fairly large gas tank, but he's moving at a rapid rate of speed, and that is a large vehicle. Of course, we don't know how much gas he had in the vehicle when it started, but I'm sure he's consuming a lot. And there he is, pushing close to 80 miles an hour on Balboa Boulevard. He's heading towards, I think, the 101 uh, right now, and I don't know if he's going to get on to 101, but at Clark and Balboa in Encino. These are large roads, but it's also very traveled roads, so there are a lot of things to, to dodge. Yes, it looks Ooh, like he's getting right into the left, left hand yep. lane. Oh, um, right hand lane, yeah. Right hand lane, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I lost him for a second yeah, there, there with all is. the SUVs. Yes. Okay, so he's hopping on. That is a freeway. Yes, 101 that South. Is the uh, looks like he's hopping on. Am I right there? Yes, the 101 I think it is southbound. the 101 South. Okay, so he is in Encino, hopping on the 101 Southbound. He's got a little space to maneuver, and there you see, as we push in on him, he's going to pick up speed here, but he's got some cars in front of him. He's going to move over to the left hand. Uh, now he's flying through the middle. 52 miles an hour at this point. Trying to maneuver his way through. Traffic, he can't, yeah. So we did see them on the border, on the, on the shoulder of the road when he first hit the freeway, when we first joined him, and he was really flying down traffic. And that's one of those things when, if you're sitting in traffic, you don't always notice what's happening on your shoulder, especially if it's coming up quickly. So that was a dangerous maneuver. Here he is kind of melding in the traffic at 51 miles an hour. That's as fast as he can go, considering you see all the cars around him. So he's on the 101 southbound. So I think he's going to be hitting the 405 pretty soon. Yeah. And uh, uh, again, uh, the patrol cars uh, following him. Uh, just you know, just to reiterate, they believe authorities believe that this is a stolen vehicle. It's a, it's a Mercedes uh, newer model, 2020 or 2022 GLE. And uh, you can see he is determined to get away from uh, from police. And um, pursuit hasn't been going on for very long, but probably the better part of a half an hour now. Uh, we first got the notice that it was happening as we got into the five o'clock newscast. And it was LAPD in the Van Nuys area that first jumped on him. Uh, they, they followed him for a little while and then he took off. There's a little bit of a, a glimpse of him. You could see his hands on the wheel. It's hard to see hard him to see. with it, a glare. I, th I think the windows are tinted. The, the back window is for sure yes. tinted. You can see a little bit of the driver. And like I said, uh, LAPD reported that perhaps uh, only one person, but you don't know until you cl finally clear the car. Right. And again, we don't know where this car was stolen from. That'll be a piece of information that hopefully we can get. Uh, oh, here's a good uh, an update. Uh, so we've been talking about who's following them, who isn't. Uh, we're getting word from our desk that they actually stopped pursuing the vehicle because of dangerous conditions, but air units still are following the vehicle uh, as he continues to, to roll through. So 
sometimes it, it, it in fact it quite often does work when you see somebody just going at a high rate of speed not caring if anything happens to him or the people around him they will back off and there are moments where that works and that gets the person to say oh they're not chasing me anymore and he slows down and he, he gets the car under control and it's less of a danger to the community around him uh, so He's, that's why you see there are no LAPD units behind him right now mm -hmm. but there is a helicopter overhead yeah still following him and you see that traffic is much more congested uh, on this uh, section of the 101 he's heading I believe into Sherman Oaks or maybe already is in the Sherman Oaks and heading into the Studio City area um, and possibly the CHP will get involved that's another piece of information we are hearing. Yeah, so I think he just, yeah, he passed the 405, stayed on the 101. Now the next exit would be Van Nuys Boulevard. So he's heading basically back towards us here in Glendale, but he's going to be going through Sherman Oaks, Studio City, uh, passing North Hollywood, Toluca Lake, etc. if he continues to go that way. Or he can go down the 101 and stay on it and head downtown, which would be really difficult but I, I tell you the 101 right here and you're already seeing it he's over at Van Nuys Boulevard it's going to be touch and go like this for many miles he's going to be uh, really struggling to get up any speed at all or try to get a, it out of this situation yeah, it looks like he's trying to merge over to maybe exit the freeway here possibly yeah yeah that would be and if he does he'll be exiting at Van Nuys. Van Nuys also congested, <laughs> very congested. I mean, like I said, this whole area, the 101, the 405, what do we call it? The most congested area in the United States, yes. especially during rush hour where he's right in the middle of it. If he exit Van Nuys, then he's just going to be on a very busy surface street with a lot of lights. It could become more dangerous, at least here. There's not a whole lot of things that he can do as he tries to evade police. And again, those police are not behind him. Yes. And with the air unit above him, uh, he can go on for quite a while. Yeah. Um, and who knows if he's aware that there's an air unit over him? I mean, he, he might be, but uh, hopefully not. And maybe that'll get him to settle down. And even then, you know, the last time we saw him on the freeway, he was on the shoulder and he was flying by people. This time he's not. He's choosing to stay well, within can't. a lane. <laughs> yeah. Well, he could be over at that right hand side or, or the yeah. far left. Yeah. But uh, he seems to have uh, slowed down quite a bit. Uh, traffic does seem to be picking up just a little bit as far as. Uh, not well, exiting. See, that, this was an opportunity for him to exit, I mm -hmm. think. So he's not going and to Van Nuys Boulevard. Exiting. He's staying on the 101. At least as of this moment, it looks like he's staying on the 101. And I think the next exit would be Woodman. But Van Nuys is, is um, let's face it, it's terrible. It's terrible when it comes to, to traffic. Yeah, he's uh, not going anywhere in this traffic. Mm -hmm, look at that. It's going to be touch and go. And then as he gets closer to the split between the 134 and the 101, it gets really, really sticky. There's going to be no relief for him, at least traffic wise, uh, for almost the entire way. Because then you're going to be, if you go to the 101, you're staying on the way to downtown. That could be the most congested traffic mm -hmm. that he's going to run into. Right. And with so many cars, uh, the, the thought of laying down a spike strip is really. Uh, it's just impossible. You can't do that because the, tr the, the freeway is full of other vehicles. Yeah, not going to happen on the freeway. Yeah. Not, not here, not this, this time of the day either. And a pit maneuver is unlikely too because of so many people on the roads. And he could accelerate so quickly. A pit maneuver would be very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and dangerous. Um, so, again, you're watching a police pursuit underway in the valley in the uh, Studio City Sherman Oaks area right now. This is the 101 uh, freeway southbound, and the person in this vehicle is believed to have stolen this Mercedes GLE from uh, somewhere in the Van Nuys area. Uh, there was an initial pursuit on surface streets, and uh, then the suspect made his way onto the freeway. He's been, uh, he was on the 405 for a little bit and has been on the 101 for the last, uh, I would say, what, 15, 20? minutes now yeah oh, or, or at least in this area surface streets and the 101 uh, there you he is earlier this is shortly after we joined him and that's when he first hit the freeway and look at him just fly by on that shoulder and if anybody kind of veers to the right a little bit he's gonna hit them yeah uh, but at a high rate of speed and this was when he was uh, flying through Encino uh, on the right hand side on the left hand side that's the live picture where he stays on the 101 now he's heading towards Woodman Avenue that's Sherman Oaks. Yeah. He's even using his blinker there. So maybe he's starting <laughs> maybe to relax he's a little bit. Maybe he's trying to, maybe he's trying to, you know, yeah. Meld kind of, in, yeah. into the, to the community 
he still maybe seems he's hoping they forgot about him aggressively driving but not dangerous uh, as of now even using his blinker so maybe he's thinking the heat is off of him and he got away it's a good it's a, it's a good question to wonder if he can hear the air unit he um, may not he may not know that he's being followed and there there are always helicopters overhead uh, well now he's on the he's on the shoulders so he's pretty much aware uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's aggressively trying to get out is he exiting yeah. Yes. Looks so he, like he exited onto Woodman. Ooh, Woodman. Ooh, that was tight. See. That was tight. He's had a few close calls like Flying this. Flying through a red light. Okay, so he's going to go under the freeway. Uh, that this would be northbound on Woodman Avenue. Let's see if we hard can to see him behind him. the buildings. Yeah. But probably coming up on Riverside. Yeah, he'll be uh, hitting Riverside first, and there's the mall on the left-hand side. That would be Fashion Square Mall. If he takes his left, that's Riverside. So Fashion Square goes. Mall is on your left-hand side. If he wants to duck into a parking garage, yep. there's a couple of options there, but it doesn't seem to be on his no. mind right now. He's going to be fly well, by. Now he's oh. merging over to the left. No, here he is. He may be doing this. Yeah, he might be ducking into a parking yep, garage. There there's, he is. That's a Macy's right there. Yep. Um, and then you have part one parking option. You saw him just go by. But if he takes a right here, mm -hmm. which he he's is, going into the parking structure. he's going to be getting close to the parking structure, or he could fly through the mall and get back out the other side. But there is a parking structure that he's going to be getting close to right by that. Uh, there it is. There's a parking yep. structure. So let's see if he decides to duck in there, or he's going to fly through the mall, looks which is like extremely dangerous. It looks like he went through. There he is. There he is. So yeah. he's so far. Oh. Just no. passing that vehicle there. Oh, he's going now in. Now he's going in. Okay, so that is a parking structure. There's a valet set up. There will be witnesses there on where he goes, but it is a multi level parking structure, maybe three or four levels, or he can all, go all the way up and, and, and wind his way up to the very top of the roof where you see it there. But more than likely, he's going to ditch the car. Yeah, this, will, this would be his opportunity to ditch the car. Unless. So the, I guess the question will be, what's the play here by the LAPD? Do they then move in or are they going to let him go? Uh, because there's probably nobody within range to get here quickly and get to this guy. Let's see where that car is right there. Is that? No. The other way. Oh, is that him? No, that's a, no. that's a Volvo. No, that's, that's a Volvo. It is black, I believe. So the speculation is that he may be ditching the car and either work his way into the mall and then try to find an exit on the other side. You would think the air unit is in communication with the LAPD, you know, officers on the ground. Oh, for sure, yes. for sure. So, uh, but they... getting getting the units there to uh, surround this area and whether even the choose to do so would be interesting. Now, wait, wait, wait. Right under that tree, does that look like a blue car? A blue? No, that's not it. Okay. There's another SUV about right to pull behind. out right there. I can't tell. Can't imagine why he would pull out of here. It's a BMW, I think. Okay. So, okay. Um, as we have seen before, there are a few times when people have been able to escape law enforcement, and a couple of them have been parking garages mm -hmm. in a busy mall. Yeah. And so this, this might be his, you know, in a criminal, criminal's aspect, uh, his best play was meld in, especially when LAPD is not behind him, knowing that they're not behind him. If it's only a helicopter overhead, so there's the helicopter circling it right now. And uh, still no sign of uh, ground units, which I would expect to see at this point. Well, it makes uh, you wonder, imagine it, the... it's a stolen vehicle, as opposed to, let's say, we've seen in the past attempted murder, or, uh, oh, no, that's that no, Volvo. That, that's a Volvo. Uh, or a murder suspect. I think they would be on him and stay on him, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a, mo a lot more vigilantly. But in this case, it's a stolen vehicle where the community was uh, in danger with his high rate of speed. And you have to make that debate on whether or not it is appropriate to keep up this pursuit. Maybe there's another way to find this suspect or it's better just to retrieve the car and, and, and get this thing over with. The vehicle may also have a low jack or tracking system on it yeah. that they could catch up with, yeah. you know, the vehicle at a later time.